Haven't seen a Menard trash post lately. You all must want Valentine gifts. So this is a conversation between the government and myself. You owe us money. It's called Texas. How much do I owe? You have to figure that out. I just pay what I want? Oh no, we know exactly how much you owe. But you have to guess that number too. W what if I get it wrong? You go to prison. My dad is vacuuming while chewing sunflower seeds and he's spitting them out right in front of the vacuum to clean them up as he goes. I have so much still to learn from this man that gave me life. Hey YouTube, maybe don't put ads before first aid vids. I don't have time to watch a red lobster ad when my gran is choking on a fishbone. <laughs> well said, Stephen Merchant, wow. Met my daughter's teacher tonight. It was heartbreaking. She was working at her second job. Teachers are the most underpaid, underappreciated, yet most valuable people in the world. So anyway, I gave her $50 for a lap dance, so I'm doing my part. You walk into your English class and this is your teacher. What you do? Take the class like everybody else. This isn't Riverdale. Male privilege is wearing the same outfit multiple times to events while girls can't wear the same dress twice no matter how cute it is. There isn't a single straight man on earth that cares if you wear the same cute dress twice. The negative comments will come from other women. Every white girl on earth put the phrase, you want a whore? Buy one. You want a queen? Earn her. In a Tinder bio this morning. What's a banging noises outside? I find my Romanian neighbours have rebuilt my fence, which had fallen down a while ago. When I offered money or beer as gratitude, they said it was better to do nice things rather than expect something. Oh, bloody foreigners coming here and building fences. Warning for car accidents are caused by texting and driving. Won't be me. One in 302,575,350 chance of winning the Mega Millions. You never know. Make it so the floorboards don't creak when regular patrons walk in, but do creak when a mysterious stranger walks in. What? I'm first world poor, which means I have a smartphone and a laptop just so I can go online and check that I have $5 left in my bank account. Reminder that CBS banned a medical marijuana commercial for the Super Bowl that showed it removing a kid's seizure for the first time in his life, while at the same time shoving alcohol ads down our throats. Oh my lord, that is horrible. Oh, please stop saying you can't joke about anything anymore. You can. You can joke about whatever the fluff you like. And some people won't like it, and they'll tell you they don't like it. And then it's up to you whether you give a fluff or not. And so on. It's a good system. Hey, libtards. If you really want $15 an hour, instead of flipping burgers, maybe try what I did. Have your dad give you a $150,000 per year job at his oil drilling company, as long as you agree to stay off pills. We won't add a president who gave up his beloved peanut farm to avoid any conflict of interest, and at 92, is still building houses for the poor. Libraries literally aren't just a place to obtain books for free. They're one of the few public places left in our society where you're allowed to exist without the expectation of spending money. Well, I wouldn't really say that, uh, libraries really do need some love. 1999. Teenager sneaks outside home to drink alcohol. 2009. Teenager sneaks outside home to smoke weed. 2019. Teenager sneaks outside home to get measles vaccine. <laughs> That's brilliant. Just tell him we built the wall! What? Is he gonna check? The fact that Netflix deleted Always Sunny, Futurama, and American Dad, but spent a hundred million dollars to keep friends makes me irrationally angry. They're all three beautiful shows, mate. In high school, I was placed in the English bottom class, where a teacher said to my face I'd never make it as a writer. Today, 25 years later, after uncountable knockbacks from almost every publisher, I'm ecstatic to finally be able to announce that teacher has died. Hashtag never give up. In college, we named our intramural softball team No Game Scheduled, because if the other team didn't show up, they lost their league deposit and forfeited. It worked several times. Everyone hated us, and nothing as cool as that has happened to me since. Well, you never know, life's full of surprises. You know you're a 90s kid when your vaccinations were mandatory and no one in your class got measles. Yeah, those were the good times. Right now, there's a couple in the studio apartment getting ready to record an acoustic cover of a rap song and there's nothing you can do to stop them. Oh, Fluffy's reaching for the ukulele! 
At the box office this weekend, The Predator took first place and The Nun took second, which is coincidentally the same way the Catholic Church ranks their priorities. Mad Magazine with the zings, wow! I love when people in brand new cars worth $40,000 want to play Road Raid with me in my $1,200 POS. Mother Fluffer, I will kill us both. Breaking PSA. Changing your opinion based on new information is actually how things should work. That's how adults function. That's the truth right there. My apartment's pest control guy always refers to Richie, my cat, as a fellow industry professional. <laughs> okay, maybe he just has a thing for cats. Everyone thinks it's quirky to come from a small town, but it just means that you see all of your peers turn into drug addicts, and also there's cows. Pretty sure I just received the best fake ID of my bartending career. A girl handed me my missing license from two years ago. Flight attendant checking overhead bins sees four skateboards. Him, jokingly, Is Tony Hawk on this flight or something? Looks down, sees me. I guess he is. Snowflake, believing online propaganda. OMG, without net neutrality, the internet is gone! Informed observer. You know, the FCC issued that rule in 2015. The internet grew up wonderfully free from government regulation, and this restores the status quo ante. Snowflake. Uh, never mind. Snowflake? Aren't you a sitting senator? Also, Comcast paid you $36,000 to write this tweet. Campaign contributions are public record. Hey men, do you dry off your face after a shower with the same towel you use to dry your balls, or do you have a separate ball towel? You start with the face, then head on down. The towel forgets everything by tomorrow. If you pay me $50, I'll show up to your funeral but stand really far away, holding a black umbrella regardless of the weather, so that people think you died with a dark and interesting secret. Well, sign me up! So, my stepson has a girl upstairs in his room that stayed the night and my wife doesn't know yet. I'm curious on how he plans to smuggle her out now that the whole family's awake. And now we wait. I fluff and love toast! What absolute genius took a bite of bread and was like, Cook it again! Unreal! A pregnant 11-year-old rape victim in Ohio would no longer be able to have an abortion under new state law. Stop calling yourself pro-life when you're prepared to have a child risk her life to give birth to a rapist's baby. You're all fluffy insane! He is truly the most beautiful human being ever, wow! You can literally drive to your local gas station and find at least three people that look like this. Well, do's not wrong. Don't tell me how rude our generation is because I've worked in customer service for over three years and I've never had someone close to my age yell and freak out on me like the older generation does. My favorite part about opening gifts labeled for mom and dad is that my dad is just as surprised to see what's inside as I am. <laughs> all I'm saying is, if I were a billionaire, I'd tell all my aspiring rivals that the secret to success was getting up at 4am. Can't believe I'm four semesters in and I still haven't bent down to pick a girl's books and we accidentally touch hands and fall in love instantly. How many more times do I need to slap some girl's shit out of her arms before this happens? Quick, while the government is shut down, let's all switch to metric. That wouldn't be a bad idea, actually. Holding my newborn son. He's beautiful. We're gonna have to give him some shots. Oh, hell yeah, pour up, it's his fluffing birthday. <laughs> I don't think those are the type of shots the doctor meant. If you're best man of your May 2nd wedding, after being best man of the first, is it okay to start my speech with, Welcome back, everyone? Two places you should not have to pay for parking. One, the university you attend to the hospital? Thank you for coming to my TED talk. Rather inspiring. Fluffed up that the most shocking parts of the Ted Bundy documentary is people saying stuff like, it was 1974, I was 22 working part time at a gas station and decided to buy myself a new 1974 Camaro. Crazy, right? Imagine if parent-teacher conferences existed in college. How's my son doing? I have never seen this man in my life. <laughs> oh, it's like an interrogation. I waved to a man because I thought he waved at me. Apparently, he waved to another woman. So to get out of the awkward situation, I kept my hand up and a taxi pulled over and drove me to the airport. I am now in Poland starting a new life. See what happens when you're kind, people? You get to go to Poland and start a new life. Yup.
looks about what was expected. Stephen Pratt has made nearly 3 million edits on Wikipedia and written 35,000 original articles, all for free. This tweet is fluffing horrible! This man is literally providing the world with free knowledge and you think criticizing his appearance is funny? Fluff you! Thanks for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe to Reddit Originals for more videos like this. We upload a video each day, so stay tuned.